My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And with my daylight ring, or sunlight ring, I can truly say it's a beautiful day in Whiterun. I have some unfinished business to attend to here. At the Grey Main House. Welcome to our home. Mother, what's the meaning of this? Who have you brought into our home? What? Averstein, put that down. He's here to help us find Thorold. How do we know he's not spying for the Battleborn? This was foolish. We can't trust anyone. Who knows what they'll do if they find me here? I can't take any more of this. No weapons, please. Let's just talk. All right, Mother. So, you're here to help? Hmm. Yes, I am. What is it that I can do? I know that Thorald's not dead. I just know it. The Imperials have him and are keeping him somewhere. But I don't know where. Those damned Battleborns, they know something. They're hiding it. They practically taunt us with it. They must have some sort of proof. There's gotta be something in that house of theirs. I just know it. I don't dare leave the house myself. So I need your help. All right then. What sort of proof do you need? Anything that confirms that Thorald isn't dead, but is being held captive. I know those Battleborns have it. They'd be hiding it, of course. Wouldn't want it to get out that they've been lying this whole time. But you might be able to butter them up enough to lower their guard. I'm not sure what you mean by that. But why do you think the Battleborns are involved? The Battleborns? The Emperor's biggest bootlickers here in Whiterun. Their connections to the Empire and the Legion are well known. When Thorald didn't return home, there was no question in my mind. They knew Thorald supported the Stormcloaks, knew he was gonna aid them in battle, made sure he didn't come back. Locked him up someplace to get back at my family. I'm sure of it. Well, it's a good thing that I support the Stormcloaks as well. And I've already exacted a measure of justice on the Battleborns already. Best if you didn't mention to anyone that you saw me here. Of course not. All right. Is there anything we need to discuss? If only you could help bring my son back to me. All right, I'm going to try. You know, I have respect for your family. As... The Grey Mane that works the Forge, the Sky Forge, and helps the Companions. I would gladly do this for you. So you tell me why you think the Battleborns are involved. It's hardly a secret that they have ties to the Empire and hate anyone who speaks out against it. Thorald did worse. He took action against the Empire, and the Battleborns knew it. And how can you be sure that Thorald is alive? He's my son. I just... I feel it in my heart. Oh, you'd understand if you had children. <laughs> I don't know. Isn't it a bit presumptuous of you to think that I don't? All right. I'm not going to do any... Encouragement you take care there. of yourself now. Yes. All right. So I need to 
infiltrate the Battleborn home, it seems. Ah, oh, wait, isn't this, uh, Nazim's wife? Leave me alone. <laughs> Just leave. Really? Something's happened to your husband, hasn't it? <laughs> That's a shame. All right, let's get up here to the Battleborn home. that there wasn't someone just standing right here at the door when I came in. There's humming. Someone's here. It would be a master lock. as a vampire. There's nothing I can do to pick a lock any easier. attention that in quick and inquiries have been made as to the whereabouts of one Thorald Greymane. It is my duty to inform you that Thalmor agents have taken possession of the prisoner and have escorted him to North Watch Keep. I don't think I need to elaborate. It, it, is, it is in everyone's best interest if the matter is dropped entirely. I trust there will be no further inquiries as to this matter. What? General Tullius is behind this? I hear footsteps all around me. It's a child. successful. My son died. Things won't be the same without him. What? There's so much death here, and I don't even know who most of these people are. I have no idea who her son is. It's possible that I could have killed him. All right. Uh, 
Ravelstein. Uh, you can sit down on my account, but if you'd like to Do talk you standing... News? Did you find something? Yes, I have proof that Thorald lives. I knew it. Let me see, please. The Thalmor. By the Nine. It's worse than I thought. So, Northwatch Keep. Then we know where to hit him. You are going to assault Northwatch Keep? I'll do anything if it means saving my brother. You'll join us, won't you? Thorald can't be left to those... monsters. I have a better idea. You stay hidden. I'll take care of this. Are you sure? I Absolutely. doubt you stand a chance against the Thalmor. <laughs> I can have a group of men ready at a moment's notice. Many would be willing to help rescue my brother. You, sh you sorely underestimate me and my power. I'm sure I will bring him back myself. Very well. I'll give you a chance. But if you can't do it, I will. Of course. I can't wait to exercise my power on the Thalmor. All right, I happen to know where this base is located. Near Castle Volgahar. Should I need additional help, I could certainly recruit some vampires there. But no, I'm doing this alone. And here we are. This place may be emptied anyway. This is the first stop that I made with Serana as I took her back to Castle Volkahar. We fed on these fools. Ah, good. My mortal's mask faded at just the right time. There's no need to pretend to be human. Hmm, they never put guards back out here. There's some over here. Hmm. Oh well. This makes securing Thorald even more simple. Keep up my strength. I suppose I could just sell off this glass armor. Glass.
pass everything. <laughs> Anything else? I'll take some gold. Lotus extract. Hmm. I almost missed this chest. used my poisons in a while. I'll save the lotus extract for a special occasion. Let's try this potion of paralysis. Also need to recharge my weapon. I think that's the last of them. Well, this armor will fetch me a handsome price, and what do we have here? Hmm. One-handed skill. All right, I think I can apply this.
someone moving around. Someone there. All right, where's the other one? Nothing here. Ah, chest, though. See if I can reanimate him. Yes. All right, there was a door up there. Let's try this. All right, you're supposed to go in there and fight. that come from? Is this reanimate? He nearly destroyed me with that.
think that takes care of them all. that I can increase. stronger already. <laughs> okay. This man here was a thorn in my side. And now he's going to become my ally. Come with me. Hmm. Another skill book. Well, it didn't give me anything. Let's go. Someone there. Uh, destroy him. <laughs> I knew I picked the right assistant. See if we can find Thorald. Ah, oh, look at this, though. Staff of Frostbite, not powerful enough. But Th Thorald, I'm too late. All right. 
have to report the news back to his family that... Wait. This must be Thorald. You there. What are you doing? <laughs> what does it look like? I'm here to rescue you. I never thought I'd see another friendly face again. We need to get to safety as soon as possible. Let's move. All right. Don't mind him. He's helping us escape. Prisoners. Where's Thorald? Kidding me, where did he go? Thorald. Oh, my goodness. Let's get out of here. Yes, as we can. How long have you been chained up? Gods, I've lost count of the days. It feels like an age has passed. I wish I could believe that I'd have held out forever against their torture, but I can't be so sure. Now, thanks to you, I needn't worry anymore. All right, and what did the Thalmor want with you? I'm not sure. At first, they accused me of being a Stormcloak, a secret Talos worshipper. They wanted a confession. To what didn't matter. They simply wanted me to admit to something. I think they wanted to break me, use me as a way to get to the rest of the Greymane family. I gave them no such pleasure. Good for you. Let's go, let's go. Yes, let's. Are you going to move this time? Good. Thorold. I cannot thank you enough for rescuing me from this place. I suspect I'd never again see the light of day otherwise. But why would you risk your life for me, a stranger? Your family was concerned for you. Of course. I should have known. This was all Avelstein's idea, wasn't it? Where is he? I told him to wait in Whiterun. A wise decision. But I fear he may not be safe there anymore. They'll go looking for me, and Whiterun will be the first place they search. I cannot stay. Not here. Not in Whiterun. It likely won't be safe for Avelstein either. Our best hope now is to fall in with the ranks of the Stormcloaks. But would you do me a favor? Tell my mother to suffer the winter's cold wind, for it bears aloft next summer's seeds. She'll know what it means. I thank you again, friend. You've given me my life back. All right, then. Good luck with the storm cloaks. And you, my powerful mage friend. It's time for me to leave. Seems to be a cave over here. We'll have to look at that another time. Let me get back to the Grey Mane Woman. people running.
right, let's see if the Grey Manes will have visitors at this hour. What is this hour, anyway? 2.30 in the morning? We'll see. There she is in bed with her husband, Yorlin. I think I'd better wait. Who is that walking around in here? Must be that Avelstein. No, it's someone else. Old Fina. Thank you, Alfina. All right, let's see. Where is Amran's house? I believe I can stay the night there. What? Locked? I thought I had the key. in bed with his wife. Let's see if I can wait here. I can. slip out before they are alarmed. <laughs> Looks like Amran didn't even see me. All right, let's reapply my illusion. And where is Alfina? Things won't be the same without your brother. Uh, can't keep up with all the people that have died. Freyla. Please tell me you have news of my son. I do. Thorald is safe. Is he? You've saved him? Oh, I must see him at once. I'm afraid he's not here. He didn't think it was safe to return. What? After all this, I can't even see him? How? How do I know you're telling me the truth and not just what I want to hear? He said to tell you to suffer the winter's cold wind. For it bears aloft next summer's seeds. That's my boy. So it's true then. For now, it's enough to know that he's alive. I can find peace in that. Thank you, dear friend. You've given me back my son. 
I'd had the Orland forge this for Thorald. It was to be a present for his return. I suppose he can't have it now. Why don't you take it? We can always make another for the day when this war ends and Thorald can come home. Very well, then. Bye now, dearie. <laughs> Speak. 